Hi everyone, good morning. Um, I'll start with um, a little introduction about myself first. So my name is Jyotra Mashkur. Um, I'm a software engineer by profession, majorly working in the domain of cloud architecture, backend development, and um, computer science. So in this paper, me along with my um, other collaborators, we've done a comparison of YOLO variants using um, soccer player data set. So um, this will be our today's agenda. Uh, we will start with an introduction to YOLO, which is um, you only look once uh, in the language of machine learning. Uh, what are the major variants of YOLO being used in industries now, uh, especially um, YOLO v7? And what were the uh, profound architectural changes um, introduced in this variant of YOLO that makes it uh, more stand out as compared to other variants of the YOLO? Um, finally, we'll do a comparison of these um, different variants based on the um, FPS, which is frame per second and accuracy metrics uh, on the soccer game data set. And then uh, what are the future um, development that we are hoping for through this paper? And then uh, eventually we'll try to sum it all up together um, in the end. So um, uh, let's start with the very basics uh, of the definition. Um, that is, uh, what is object detection? So um, object detection um, in a computer vision technique is a computer vision techniques um, that uses neural network to um, classify and localize an object in the image. Um, as such, tremendous amount of work is being done um, in different streams of life from um, facial recognition to autonomous driving cars, um, security applications and robotics and whatnot. So uh, modern detectors have been uh, in the development to identify the objects in higher frame rate. Uh, recently, it has been seen how uh, vehicles can drive on their own once put on the autopilot mode. However, their applications are not uh, limited to these fields only. So in this presentation, uh, the state of the art YOLO V7 model uh, will be utilized uh, for real-time detection uh, of the players and football movements. Um, that's the data set that we are covering in this presentation. Okay, so um, prior to uh, detection system, um, it repurposes the localizers and uh, classifiers to detect objects. Model used to be applied on an image at uh, multiple locations and scales. Um, image regions with high scores are considered as detections. YOLO um, use an um, entirely different approach. It applies a single neural network to full image and divides the image into regions and predicts the bounding boxes and probabilities for each region. Um, these bounding boxes are weighted by the uh, predicted probabilities which we'll just uh, look into our further um, discussion. So to further expand the same idea behind YOLO, the YOLO algorithm works by dividing the image into N grids, each having an equal dimension region of, let's say, S by S. Uh, each of these N grids is uh, responsible for the detection and localization of the object it contains. Uh, and so these grids predict uh, the bounding box, let's say B coordinates uh, related to their cells coordinates uh, along with the object labels and, and probability of the object being present um, inside the cell. This uh, uh, process glow, uh, greatly lowers the computation as both uh, detection and recognitions are handled by the cells from the image. Uh, however, it brings forth a lot of duplicated uh, predictions due to multiple cells being predicted, uh, predicting the same object with uh, different bounding box predictions. YOLO makes use of uh, non-maximal suppression to deal with this uh, specific issue. So um, in non-maximal suppression, YOLO suppresses all bounding boxes that have um, lower probability scores. And YOLO achieves this by first looking at the probability scores associated with each um, decisions and taking the largest one. Following this, it suppresses the bounding boxes having the um, largest uh, intersection over the union uh, with the current high uh, probability bounding box. This step is repeated again and again and again until uh, the finding a uh, final bounding box is obtained. So uh, now the final prediction or decision is made 
using uh, the objectness score uh, and the class prediction. So what is an objectness score? Uh, objective scores is, is nothing but the probability that uh, cell contains the object. Uh, and the class predictions is a prediction made by the network of all number of classes that's, um, that's present in currently. So again, um, um, in this uh, presentation, we'll uh, be comparing different variants of YOLO. Um, that is, of course, uh, YOLO v7, YOLO v5, um, YOLO r, and um, YOLO x. So um, YOLO v7 algorithm is actually making um, big waves in computer vision and machine learning communities right now. Um, the newest YOLO algorithm suppresses all previous object detection models and um, YOLO version in both speed and accuracy. This requires um, several times cheaper hardware than um, other neural networks and can be trained much faster uh, on small data set without any pre-trained weights. Uh, and so uh, YOLO v7 is expected to become the industry standard for object detection in the near future, surpassing the uh, previous uh, state-of-the-art real-time application of YOLO v4, which was considered one of the very um, uh, highly um, accurate and uh, good performing model uh, of family member of the YOLO actually. So um, let's start with the YOLO v5. In YOLO v5, the feature extraction from photos made up, it uses um, CSP darknet um, as the foundation in order to aggregate the feature and pass them to the head for prediction. It creates a feature pyramid, a feature pyramid network uh, using PANNet. So intuitively, the data is fed to the um, backbone, which is uh, nothing but a CSP darknet, uh, where feature extraction happens. Uh, and then they are passed to the NAC, um, which is a PAN net, where the feature fusion takes place. And then lastly, YOLO layer predicts um, that a specific uh, object uh, in the output of the class. Uh, it can be either class as well, or location, or confidence scores, or, or size. So. Um, it's compared to that in uh, YOLO VR, uh, which is uh, version R, it has the best uh, inference time and accuracy among all your models, including YOLO V5. Uh, it proposes a single neural network uh, that does multiple tasks like prediction, uh, multitasking, uh, and, and feature calibration as well. So YOLO R makes the most uh, of the explicit and implicit knowledge to build up the model that performs multi-label classification detection, feature embedding um, all at once. So um, after YOLO v5 advanced label assignment and unsure free uh, detectors grab the spotlight due to their obviously better results. However, the YOLO uh, family wasn't still integrated uh, with these improvements, which obviously became the um, ultimate reason for the development of YOLO of X um, model in the end. And so um, in YOLO V7, uh, which is again the spotlight of our discussion, is the latest state-of-the-art detector uh, to this date among all the known object detectors. Few architectural reforms have been obviously introduced in the model that have uh, improved the speed and the uh, and the accuracy as well significantly. Just similar to uh, scaled YOLO v4, this model also uses COCO dataset. Uh, the architectural reforms include um, EELAN, which is um, a short form for Extended uh, Efficient Layer uh, Aggregation Network. So along with model scaling for concatenation-based models uh, to enhance learning ability. So um, additionally, uh, planned re-parameterization uh, convolution and course uh, for auxiliary with fine uh, for lead loss are aligned uh, as the bag of freebies that also complement the model for better learning without uh, actually um, increasing the training cost. So um, here we are um, in this research, we have um, utilized the ULO V7 trained on MS Coco model on the soccer gameplay, detecting all the players uh, in real time and football movements. We observed the uh, inference time and accuracy of the model and then compared it with other different models, uh, obviously of the YOLO family that we were uh, previously discussing as well. So um, let's more uh, discuss about the compound model scaling. 
uh, in uh, compound, uh, compound model scaling is actually another reason for the improved performance of YOLO v7. To make it more um, uh, computing device friendly, the model scaling was um, also used to find the accuracy and speed uh, requirements. Usually for model scaling, uh, network architecture search, uh, which is, uh, and for short, we use the word NAS, is used because of the parameter specific scaling. However, in YOLO v7, the model is further optimized with the compound model scaling approach. This approach, um, in this approach, uh, width and depth are coherently scaled uh, for concatenation based model. So we can see that here in this um, diagram here as well. Um, to sum it all up, um, when performing model scaling on concatenation-based models, only depth in a computational block needs to be scaled. Uh, and the remaining transmission layer is performed with the corresponding width scaling. So um, additionally, this model also put forward the planned reparameterization congregation, uh, which all, we already talked about previously, um, that affects the accuracy significantly. So reparameterization is a method for enhancing the model uh, after training it. It lengthens the training process, but yields a much, much better inference outcomes. Both model level and module level ensembles reparameterization are the uh, two types of reparameterization used to finalize this uh, specific model here. So um, here, after applying um, YOLO v7 along with um, YOLO r, um, YOLO v5, and um, YOLO x, on the same data set, we analyzed that the performance of all these models in terms of frames per second and um, accuracy as well, of course. So for uh, frames per second comparison, when um, YOLO v5 was applied to the data, it showed the speed on, on 27 frames per second. Um, which is followed by YOLO R um, that yielded um, 23 frames per second. So um, YOLO X uh, also gave the uh, frames per second of 20, around 22, uh, that is slightly less than the um, YOLO R, uh, but uh, unfortunately finally the lowest uh, speed uh, that was displayed by one of the YOLO variants was YOLO V7 that gives the um, only uh, 17 frames per second. So indeed, uh, YOLO v5 uh, at the moment here uh, is delivering the highest frames per second rate, which we can also here um, observe in the bar graph over here. So that was the frames per second uh, comparison based on the frames per second. Uh, if we'll further expand the same idea to use the um, accuracy comparison, uh, we also compared the accuracy result of all these models um, and observed that even uh, with the least speed, YOLO v7 uh, was actually delivering um, close to the state of the art accuracy. So uh, highest accuracy of YOLO v7 can be seen in the matrix, which is closely followed by um, YOLO v6. Um, with the accuracy of around, I think, um, 56%. Uh, and then comes the YOLO uh, V5 with the accuracy of around um, 43% um, uh, AP, along with the uh, YOLO X and the uh, and uh, that gave the around 46% um, um, accuracy. So, uh, to sum it here, um, it can be seen that detection of players um, and ball uh, is done more accurately with the higher frames per second relatively. So um, given that using the same technique in future, we are planning to track players uh, along with their movements, um, which can be a great help in detecting offsides to on one time. Uh, as offside detection has been, uh, is still one of the most problematic decisions in soccer at the moment. So a goal ruled out uh, wrongly because of an error in the um, offside detection by the referee, uh, the game results could drastically change. So um, we can similarly use the same approach and same model to uh, act as, uh, as a backup referee as well uh, for any kind of um, offside um, wrongly ruled or correctly ruled as well. So uh, furthermore, we are also planning to distinguish the uh, substitute players and reserved players and different team members as well of the different uh, of different groups from general crowd too. Uh, so that uh, their movements can also be tracked closely 
and obviously we can use the same uh, movement uh, the data we collected during a match to predict um, what a specific uh, prediction uh, what a specific next movement of a specific team or a player uh, will be in the next upcoming match or even in the uh, real time uh, prediction given the uh, given the current match or that is going on so um over the past few years, um, Yolo family has um, seen some tremendous research work as it has been um, proved to be a great uh, resource for real-time um, object detection. Due to its fast and, and accurate detection, Yolo algorithm has huge potential for being used in the commercial applications as well. So we analyzed in the comparison between the different uh, variants of this family. All the models performed well However, um, YOLO V7 proved to be the state of the art in terms of accuracy, um, showing around, um, like we discussed, around 58% um, accuracy, um, whereas YOLO R, um, which comes right after the former model, and that showed the accuracy of around 56%. On the other hand, um, using the same uh, YOLO V7 performs um, really purely in terms of the frames per second, uh, demonstrating only 17 frames per second. So that's coming last against um, YOLO R and um, YOLO X and YOLO V5. Our work proves that uh, where YOLO V7 is uh, not the fastest on the R data set. However, due to its accuracy, it can be used in commercial applications like um, user-friendly soccer analyzer um, uh, or creating its dashboard for insight analysis and obviously uh, for predicting the likelihood of a specific goal as well um, in, in, a, in a given match. So um, that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask.